the purpose or you try to model career after work. Parang the way I figured it out, although late bloomer ako dyan, parang may tick box, ano ba yung ideal profile mo, and then you take jobs that fill it up eventually. Tsaka over time, nag-iiba rin yung ideal profile. So, lalo na yung mga nagbabalak abroad, minsan the issue is, ah, yung increase, hindi ganun kalaki. Sabi ko, you just take the next job para lang makapasok, and then you jump after another, I don't know, year, six months, 12 months. Uh, so you have to be strategic. So yung mga hops, no? Other things to think about is um, at some level, the tech is secondary. It's hard to say that to mga people who want to be a dev, no? Kasi software is a tool, eh. Parang AI is a tool. So at some point, you graduate from being a technologist to being a problem solver. I guess, you know, so there's always someone with a problem who needs solving, whether client mo, employer mo, boss mo, and then you, you think of ways to, to deal with it. So you're no longer chasing mga job descriptions. You're looking to build products. So yung step two. Step three, uh, kahapon nasa DevCon ako eh. Na may mga devs to. And I was invited to the press conference with Sina Will, uh, Winston Damarillo. Parang pare-pareho yung mga ano eh, yung mga sentiments na kasi yung big issue may may isang ano doon entrepreneur na nagtatanong what will it take to hire mga developers parang ang taas naman masyado nung nung cost nila. And then the other side naman is ang baba ng sweldo ng mga devs eh. <laughs> parang ganun, hindi mo hindi mo pagtagpo. And I was telling them, look. Tinanong ko siya, ano bang business mo? Ah, nag-set up daw siya ng parang venture lab, ganyan-ganyan sa Pampanga. Sabi ko, oh, so you're gonna grow startups? Sabi ko sa kanya. Um, can I ask you a favor? Sabi, sabi, sabi niya, oh, ano? Yung mga startups na i-incubate nyo, you encourage them to explore markets outside the Philippines. Kasi kung you're doing solutions for the Philippines lang, talagang hindi kayo kikita enough to hire devs properly. Mangyayari, babaratin nyo palagi yung mga devs nyo and your products will suck, sabi ko. You try to look for markets in US, ganyan. Parang mga BPO. Because yun yung main difference between startups sa Pilipinas at startups abroad. Yung mga startups sa Pilipinas, they always want to solve a problem in the Philippines. Samantalang sa Israel, si Waze, di ba? Tsaka ano pa ba? Waze and ano, Viber, they wanted to solve a problem for the world. Ganon lahat. Indonesia, Grab, ba? Ang, uh, Angkas is technically Singapore pero dito nag-operate. They're always looking to solve a problem na universal, global. Kaya yung approach nila ang laki. Kaya yung pondo na pumapasok sa kanila, laki din. E sa Pilipinas, super bakat ng mga investor. Eh. No joke ha. Ibang call siguro we can do that as a topic. The investors here suck. The, and the, the purchasing power also low. That doesn't mean you don't help Filipinos. Pero ang point is, kung yung ambition ng companies, ganyan lang kaliit, you will never be able to afford it. So what does that mean for a developer? At some point, you might want to do that. Just start a company. Does it mean CEO? Ako kasi I have a weird profile. Eh. I'm both the CEO and the CTO. Kasi di talaga ako makahanap ng... Nung CTO ako, hindi ako makahanap ng CEO na matino. <laughs> and then vice, vice versa, nung CEO naman ako, hindi ko naman mapasa yung CTO job to someone else. It's a tech thing. Eh. So, um, so I'm doing both jobs. It's not really a good idea to be honest. Pero as a dev, you'll have the power to create solutions. Find people you can work with and and solve problems. Lalo na ngayon, ang dami naghahanap ng investment. Super saturated na kasi abroad. Philippines, ang daming magagaling. Ang problema lang is, when you actually get a good career, sort of, the the, the money can be very good. Yan, dami, karamihan ang upo dito, magandang kinikita nila. So it might give you a complacency. Lalo na if you're in your 20s or 30s, parang chill ka na. You might want to rethink that. Kasi pagpalo mo na ng 40, where I am, you would wish you did something more in your 30s and your 20s. So ngayon ako naghahabol. And unfortunately, in your 40s, kalabang mo na yung may family ka na, kalabang mo na yung, yung physical body mo, humihina na, tumataba ka na, <laughs> ganyan. Uh, so while you're in your 20s and 30s, maximize that. No? Make as many mistakes as possible. Don't be a criminal, pero at least make mistakes sa dev. And then create ano, create solutions. Yun yung third life hack. Fourth, finally, and maybe I can speak with some authority here. 
I was never as fulfilled with my career until I started doing humanitarian work, social impact work. That's why ganun yung work mundo namin eh. We solve. Yung hindi lang for profit lang talaga. And then, pero don't get me wrong ah. May pera sa non-profit. Like, for the entire three years of the pandemic, our cash flow was pretty good. Kasi we were helping with COVID, we were helping with food security, we were helping with human rights. Kasi walang mga devs sa humanitarian sector. Kaya ngayon, ina-advertise ko na. Dati, parang shh, tahimik ka lang ha. Dami natin trabaho sa UN, dami natin trabaho sa WHO. Walang, walang pumapatol kasi feeling nila hindi sila kikita. Although, to be fair, we didn't go there to make money. We went there because we wanted to help. And then, turns out, they were willing, they actually have money pala. May pambayad din pala sila. Ang problema, walang yeah. mga tech people doon. So, that's also kind of a clue. Sometimes, you have to take a risk and go where no one else is going. Huwag na kayong makisingit doon sa maraming tao. So, that's life hack number. Finally, Life hack number five. You have to be doing this for something else also. For yourself, your family, lalo na for those of you who want to get married or whatnot. Mas masaya if you have someone else to to take care of. No? Uh, although, I have to admit, even up to now, nakaka-addict naman talaga yung trabaho. Kasi you're learning eh, and it's technology. Pero at some point, you want to just kick back. Alam ko si Kuya Dev, nag, uh, saka mo pumunta Cebu or something. You know, just let go of the laptop for a few minutes, no, <laughs> and enjoy life. Ah, uh, because that's something you'll never get back. Yung pera, you can you can earn it eh, eventually. Pero when you lose time, wala nang bawi yon eh. So make sure you spend time with people who are important. And sometimes that's weird, no. If you're starting out as a dev, karamihan sa inyo mga loners. Um, it's the name, it's the personality eh, that creates that uh, skill. Although meron naman mga party animal na devs, pero more with the exception um you know try 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 going out sometime enjoy nature something like that uh kasi diyan nagre-recharge yung brain eh kasi you're putting your brain through, through so much stress while you're working kahit na nag-enjoy ka stress pa rin yun you need time for the brain to recover you know just uh just a tip so yun yung limang life hack thank you for team anything to add No, grabe. Wala na ata ako marad. <laughs> Ang masabi ko lang siguro ay I agree. <laughs> ano ba? Ano ba ba yung ma-add ko dyan? <laughs> Wala na ata eh. Masabi na ito ni Sir Jock Bigot eh. <laughs> Nag-zone out na rin ako sa glit eh kanina. Parang ano, parang mga parang kuya Edith. <laughs> <laughs> Siguro na. <laughs> Biglaan eh, no? <laughs> Over to you. <laughs> um, sige, ano, kuha tayo ng tanong kay Chromatid naman. Hi, ask ko lang po sa inyong career shifters, if how many years did you try until you got your first tech role po? I've read three to four years. Please share if year one, ano ginawa nyo? Year two, year three? Okay, ah, ganun. So how many years did it... Uh, Dalawa sa ating tatlo or even for team? Uh, be, uh, technically, parang career shift or career kasi walang degree, di ba? Parang, so, yeah, for team, simula muna siguro. Para... <laughs> Wait, sorry. Anong ulit yung katanong? <laughs> um... How long did it take for you to uh, land your first tech role as a uh, career shifter, uh, quote unquote? And what you what did you do in your year uh, one, year two, or yeah? All right. Okay. So ayun nga, um, yung ano kasi is I think yung pinaka reason siguro na parang lumaki yung chance ko sa pag uh, pag apply ng tech role kasi I think yung parang fifth year ko sa college is um yung fifth year is the last year sa college ko na nagatay na ko um gumawa kasi ako ng system na parang uh, profile management system sa yearbook organization namin so um by create uh, developing that um system is parang maraming achievements na ako nakuha eh um achievement for the organization and for myself siguro 
And then, yun, yung, yung, I think, makoconsider ko yun as year one. Parang naging pro bono ko yun siya eh, na, ano eh, dev eh. Kasi ako lang yung nag-develop nun eh. So, uh, and then, yung year to, yung nag, naka-decide na ako na umalis sa uh, university, yun yung nag, ano ko, um, nag-apply ako sa online jobs na TH. Uh, nag-try lang ako dun. Um, binida ko lang yung gawa ko dun sa, kasi WordPress kasi gamit, Uh, ginawa, ginamit ko nung ano eh, nung system na yun eh. Sige, so pinagita ko yung ano na, yung yung achievements ko uh, using this uh, uh, system, ayun. <clears throat> so, using that siguro na, so I think, um, yun yung pinaka malaking impact siguro din sa, uh, sa tech career ko. Kasi, yun, yung, yun yung lagi kong binibida kasi at first eh. So sa sa year to, sa year 2 ko um yun yung time na after 6 uh, six months na pagde-dev ng as a WordPress developer. Um mga 2 months siguro nagte-try ako mag uh, mag-learn ng new tech na parang tinay ko mag uh, tinay ko mag PHP uh, code writer ata gamit ko nun. And then, ayun, parang hindi ko masyadong magets at first yung MVC nga, yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, ayun, yung tinay ko maghanap ng work sa mga startup na mga companies dun sa amin, sa Cayenne de Oro. Ayun, yun, yun, yun pa rin yung binida ko, yung ano, yung work ko nung, uh, yung ginawa ko nung pinaka-first na job ko, ay, pinaka-first na system na ginawa ko. So, parang, so I think it it take me two years siguro before ko nakuha yung job na gusto ko, which is full stack development. So, yun, yun lang for me. Oh, Josh. I shouldn't pass, sorry. <laughs> um... Ayun ko siya, sorry. Sinawala <laughs> ko. Ay, ang ano, yung about uh, uh, what did you do uh, to, as a career shifter and how long did it take you? Ah, okay. So, around pandemic nun, um, so, nagkaroon tayo ng influx ng uh, free courses. So, if mapapansin nyo, it's kay Coursera, ang dami mga naglabas ang online courses nun. So, ako naman, nag-grab lang ako, nag-grab ng mga online courses na yun. And, uh, yun, nag-take ako ng mga online courses. And, of course, we also have Project Sparta. Um, na, you know, online course din siya. So, um, dedicated for data-related roles. So, yun. Kabilaan yung mga online courses ko nun since medyo na layoff ako nung mga two months yata nun since uh, bagong pandemic pala nun. So, um, wala, wala akong ginagawa at all. Kaya, puro course lang ako nun. Um, June 2020 ako nagkaroon ng role. So, siguro it was around six months of puro online courses. Tapos, um, yeah. Six, yeah, so, so, ganun. Um, pero it's just as, uh, parang ano yan, not, not that tech job, but a data job, but still uh, something that uh, I, I I still, you know, parang um, do for for the role. Um, so, yun. Pero siguro, uh, um, the, the, for me, uh, parang pinaka measure kong duration of me getting into tech, it's really about um, roughly two years um, since... I took parang six months of of of, uh, of online courses self study for for um for uh, for me to get a data job. Tapos as from that point six months hanggang one and a half year dun ako nag-start ng mga mga side gig side gig lang. Um, na somehow similar pa rin naman sa data and uh, do I still do parang um tech stuff like a uh, programming and and all that. Um, then I got into this role of BI specialist um uh, around last year. Um. Of April, so yeah, probably roughly um, two years uh, for career shifting. Um, na parang somehow I can say that I'm on a decent role naman na. So decent in the sense na um, I really do what I, I'm expecting or what I'm uh, parang what I was thinking na gusto ko gawin back then when I was trying to pursue a career in tech. So ayon. Thank you, thank you. Uh, ko doc. Kapano ka pala nag ano? Uh, transition into tech. Hello. 
wala ata sa the, cr- the craziest crazy. things no so, uh, sige i-reveal ko na yung kwento ng bata ko so ni ako ng Atari kasi lahat ng kapitbahay namin may Atari so lahat Sackman Space Invader siguro for the for it's probably the PlayStation na no? but for me it, it was the baka may lang baka may so dumating yung ko from the state ni assignment siya pala dala na Atari yung pala It, they called it the TI-99 a it was, uh, it was on sale. <laughs> Parang ganun. Yun yung pinili na computer. para rin siyang Atari na may mga cartridge. Pero parang tatlo lang yung cartridge na binili niya. Dalawa pa wasn't games. Sabi ko, ano ba naman to? Pero it came with a, it came, came with a program. With basic. So, I was seven years ago. Uh, to the program six. <laughs> may mga libro sa library ng school namin. As in, ano, di inakalkal ko yung mga basic programming. Pero it wasn't even for the computer we had. As in, it was for some other computer and I had to translate it. So anyway, yun. that was, that wasn't a tech job. That was me just having fun. <laughs> Later on, uh, okay, I was working in a bank and literally, ang trabaho ko, data encoder. No joke. Kasi I tried, uh, this was my second job. My first job was, I thought I was going to be a stockbroker. Pero pangit yung economy. Kasalanan ni Erap lahat yan. Eh. Ay, hindi pa pala ni Erap ni Ramos. <laughs> so, second job na to. Apply ako sa banko. Show up ako. Naka, ano pa ako. Naka-suit pa ako noon. No, no, yung pala yung trabaho, encoder. So, tinanggal ko na yung jacket ko. <laughs> Roll up the sleeves. Encoding tayo. Tapos, okay. So, this is... This was, uh, I really didn't plan on staying in this job forever. Kaya yung advice ko about don't think of the next job as the job. Parang ano lang yan. Temporary stop until you achieve your goal. So, mayroon kaming office mate. Ang trabaho niya, siya yung tagatali ng productivity ng mga tao. Parang we were required to encode credit card to eh, credit card department. Parang 100 applications per day. Nakakala ko, ang dali-dali, hirap pala noon. Kasi dapat kabisado mo yung mga zip code, mga area code. Literally encoding shit. So, ang trabaho niya, binibilang niya yung mga na-encode. And then, mayroon kaming leaderboard. Literally, whiteboard. Doc! 99, ganyan. Tapos may, may incentive ka if you're the top encoder. It's totally not a, a dev job. Eh, that guy resigned. Resigned siya. Tapos sabi nung a, uh, assistant manager, oh, sino gustong maging, ano, agatali ng, ng, ano, na, <laughs> ng productivity. Walang umiimik kasi wala naman dagdag sa sweldo yun. Eh. Kasi yung nagtatali, encoder din siya, pero may plus-plus trabaho. So, ano, grace ng hand ako, parang tanga. No? So, so, I raise my hand. Okay, Doc, it's your job. Okay, tapos, so ako na ngayon yung nag-note. So I, I would stay an extra hour after work to count everyone's job, no? And then naisip ko bigla, ka, ini-encode namin to in some system. Malamang merong, malamang may data yung system na yan, di ba? And may, wouldn't that be a smarter way of getting the encoding? Uh, hindi alam ng manager. So, sabi niya, hindi ko alam yan. Ipunta ka sa IT. <laughs> Punta ako IT. Sabi na, sir, meron yan. Uh, gusto nyo bang bigyan namin kayo ng access dun sa ano, sa mainframe? K- kayo na po yung mag-download. Sabi ko, ano yun? Ano sir, ito yung access code, yung binigyan kong password. Tapos, i-query lang ninyo. Sabi ko, sige, turo mo. So, I learned SQL because of that, no? So, suddenly, yung extra hour na, ano, after work, mga two minutes na lang kasi naka-auto query na yun. Tapos, ito yung masaya. So, suddenly, naka-format na yung report. Tapos, baliktad na yung process. Normally, I would count, then tally the board, and then submit the report. Ngayon, baliktad. I got the report. Literally, kinakapit ko na lang yung report dun sa whiteboard. Minibigay ko sa manager. Pero ito yung masaya. Everyone was lying about their pro- about, about their encoding, except me. Yung mga nagsasabi, oh, 100, 120. Pag nakita ko sa system, sabi ko, Brad, talaga bang 120? Oh, Brad, marami akong nagawa. Nandito, 68 lang eh. <laughs> So, I was the most unpopular guy in that department. Kasi nabisto ko lahat ng mali. Uh, but that was accurate. Kasi yung pala, meron palang department-wide problem yung pinaka-boss namin. Kasi hindi niya matali yung productivity na no, report ng AM dun sa pumapasok sa system. And then I solved that problem just by querying it. Dun na So, uh, after that, I applied to another job. Nagkaroon ng opening sa sa same same department pero ang tawag MIS Management Information Systems na literally yung ginagawa ko completely by accident yun pala yung trabaho but for the entire bank 
Uh, so yun, natutunan ko lahat ng 